Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, Microsoft rolled out the Moment 3 feature update for Windows 11, as I have been posting. And one of the new features that was included in the update um, was being able to show seconds in the system tray clock, which has now become a default feature after um, Moment 3 update. And uh, um, you can now turn seconds on and off from the settings over on Windows 11 after that update has been applied. Now, just a video to let you know that um, if you are still running Windows 10, um, as you can see, you can also enable seconds in the system tray clock. As you can see, I've got my seconds in my system tray clock ticking away there. And um, if you want to uh, enable uh, seconds in the system tray clock on Windows 10, um, it's not a default feature you can turn on by just heading to the settings like you can now in Windows 11. Um, we can, though, uh, just tweak the registry and um, adjust the registry to be able to uh, make Windows 10 show and display seconds in the system tray clock. So if you are comfortable to fiddle around in the registry and want to have the option now to be able to see those seconds in the system tray clock, then um, we need to head over to the registry editor. And to do this, I would suggest right-clicking on your start menu, clicking on run, enter reg edit, click on OK, and this will open up the Windows registry editor. Now, as I always suggest before fiddling in the registry, head to your file and export the registry. Um, just do a quick backup. It doesn't take very long. So if anything goes wrong while fiddling in the registry, and you can always come back and import that at a later stage. And I actually have posted a video on how to back up the registry um, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I'll leave a link to that down below. Now, to um, make Windows 10's clock display seconds um, in registry, the registry editor, we head to H key current user. We head to that key. We expand that and open H key current user. We then head to software and we do the same. Then we head down to Microsoft, open up Microsoft. And now we go down to the bottom and we open up Windows. So we open up and expand the Windows key. Then it'll be current version. And then we look for Explorer. Open up Explorer. And in the Explorer folder and key, we look for Advanced. And what we do is we click on Advanced. And now you'll see in the right-hand menu where we get all our different values. Um, here is an entry called Show Seconds in System Clock. And what we need to do, if you're seeing Show Seconds in System Clock, is double-click on that value. And here we need to change the value data from 0, which will be the default, to 1. Now, I've already ad adjusted this because, as you can see, um, I have seconds already. And the default will be 0, so you change that to 1, and you click on OK. And um, what I would suggest after that is close the registry editor, and then restart your device, and then you will see seconds showing in your system tray clock over on Windows 10. Now, if you are not seeing show seconds in system clock, what you need to do is you need to create a new D word value. So what you would do then is just right-click in an empty area um, in the right-hand pane, hit to New, click on D word 32 bit value and what you would rename that to would be exactly what I have here show seconds in system clock so you would enable that you would rename that new uh, D word value show seconds in system clock and I'll leave that down below so you can just copy and paste it so if you're not seeing the value just right click new create new D word 32 bit value rename it to show seconds in system clock and then obviously you would head back double click and change that value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. And then what I would suggest is close your register editor and then restart your Windows 10 operating system. And that's just a quick way, as mentioned, how you can show and enable um, system tray clock to show these seconds in the bottom right-hand corner of the Windows 10 taskbar. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.